Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we are going to do one more reading for the 11th. We're going to try it with this deck. This deck is a different kind of deck, and we'll see if we can get a different message for 1111 for a different group of people. But you know how that goes. Sometimes they want a, one specific message to come out, and that's the way it goes. This is for all signs. It is for somebody, not everybody. Let's see who needs this message. I mean, let's do one more message for today. And these are not reversed, okay? Financial constraints are holding somebody back. They're holding somebody back. There's worries about money. Woo! Well, don't let it hold you back for too long, okay? Because there's a door that's opening. We do have a door opening. Don't worry about the money. Seriously. Appreciation. Yeah, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. Appreciate love. You can't take it with you. You can't take that money with you. Looks like the chase is on. The chase is on. Somebody is on your tail. And it could be somebody that is quite different than you. Somebody is right after you. They may be of a different culture. They may be of a different um, skin color. I don't know. And you may be trying to get away. Somebody's trying to get away. Or the other person's trying to get away. But somebody is... Going after what they want. That's for darn sure. And this may have started around the full moon or the uh, new moon. The door may have cracked open during a, a new moon or a full moon. Just saying it may have cracked open during that time. Maybe somebody decided to open a door and peek through and now they, they appreciate something. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, is this going to be a repeat? This man is thinking... He's thinking about his money. He's thinking about what he has to offer. Let me get this where it needs to be. So yeah, we have the man again. We have this man here who's wondering if he has what it takes. Do I have enough? Is this enough? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Do I have enough abundance to offer to this woman? Will she appreciate what I have to offer? Interesting. Interesting. Oh my God. Okay. Will she? Will she appreciate? I'm going to shuffle these cards over here. Oh boy. We have a match here. We absolutely have a match. These are a... It's like a power couple. It's a soulmate connection right here. 46 and 47. They are meant to be right together. They're meant to be together. And there's a there's a there's a opportunity for mutual appreciation and blossoming abundance, but somebody's running away from it or somebody's not taking action and they need to take action. Interesting. And they need to take action right now. And it is divinely guided. Okay, this is a divinely guided connection. Three, 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 three. Okay, so this is a union that is meant to be. Okay, it is. It's a union that is meant to be and it's divinely guided. It's an answer to your prayers. It's like 
they you've been praying for this to come to manifest or whatever and it's it's coming i mean with these threes i mean come on now they're all right together too it's about um coming together you know um growth change um union really um mind body and spirit union I'm rubbing my chest now. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am. And you see what's right in the middle. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. But we have some anxiety here. Of course we do. Of course we do. When two people, you know, are scared to get together, it's going to cause some anxiety. And especially with the fears. The moon brings fears. <laughs> this woman is thinking that she hasn't been appreciated and she's thinking about starting the next chapter okay she's got that book in her hand she's at the last page in that chapter she's about to you know she doesn't look very happy it's like i'm not being appreciated so i maybe it's time for me to start that next chapter he's just sitting around thinking worried about his money when he should be going through that door so damn it um, oh yes, I said he was sitting around thinking, didn't I? So we have this man that doesn't know which road to take. And she's at the point where she doesn't know if she, what road to take either. They both are. But in the middle of both of them is abundance. There's an opportunity to have a lot of growth with these threes. Threes are growth as well. For things to grow into romance and love and with mutual appreciation between these two. But money is not going to bring happiness believe it or not even though the that this man it's above him it's above him he's the one that is thinking that money is most important you know his job's too important you know do i have enough to offer do i have time for love whatever he's worried about his financial situation more than he should be okay he should be focused on romance in love with this woman because when you have love the abundance will come and that is the truth that is the truth when there is love everything grows seriously when you are fulfilled emotionally it's like everything gets better it's just the way it is it is that's the truth okay when you are feeling loved, when you are being loved, when there's love at the top of the list, the abundance flows to you with ease and that is no joke. But when there isn't love, the money, the money situation goes downhill because the stress is building because your heart isn't being fulfilled. And that is the way it goes. Appreciate love. Appreciate your woman. Okay? It's all she wants. The woman in this dynamic, all she wants is appreciation. Anyhow. I feel as though there is a man and a woman that are both undecided as to whether they want to work together. Whether they want to... Um, Go down this path together. I mean, these are both eights as well. The time is now. They have. There's an opportunity at this point for these two people, whoever they are, to have blossoming abundance if they put love at the top, you know? Don't let the financial constraints hold you back from making an offer, okay? So... It looks to me like I mean this guy this could this guy is thinking about making a proposal 
whether it's whatever it is. I don't know. There's all kinds of things that could be proposals, okay? He's thinking about making some sort of offer or something. He's thinking about it. And it is in regards to love. But he feels like, he, he may feel like he doesn't have the time or the money. You know, I might not, this might not be good enough. Is this good enough for me? Is this a, is this a big enough ring? Is this a big enough offer? Do I have enough to offer? Do I have enough time? I don't know what it is. So is this a big enough offer? Am I, you know, that's what he's thinking. And I feel like this woman is on the verge of closing that book, period. Because she deserves appreciation. And she knows it. And he knows it too. This man knows it too. So there is a door opening. Because this woman, she knows her worth. She does know her worth. And there's a man that has been watching her. This man, he's at the front. He's been watching her. And it looks like he's about to take action. But she's now undecided because this man hasn't come for so long. You know, and she's probably grown pretty independent. She's alone here. This woman has grown very independent in her ways. And now she has an opportunity to come together with somebody and she's undecided. And she probably fears. She does fear. She has this fear of, you know, letting this guy catch her because I want to be appreciated. So I feel like there is an opportunity here. So there's there's a man that is, is probably going to take action. And this woman is, it's the woman that is going to really feel anxious about going down this road. She's going to be like, you know, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can. I don't know. I don't know. So, you know, and I think this man knows that she's going to be anxious. He's probably thinking, you know, is my offer going to be enough? The only way you're going to find out is to take action. Take action. Because this story is almost over. It's like this, this it's time. And she's seriously thinking about closing that book. So, you know. There's definitely an opportunity here for a man to come forward and go after what he wants before she's too far out of sight. It's a soulmate connection that could be lost because of indecision and fear. Either way, there's room for growth and there's room for abundance. Don't let anything to do with money or what you have to offer materialistically hold you back. Because there is love to be had. There really is. All you have to do is go through that door. The heart's are already involved here. They are. And to bring back balance and harmony, all you have to do is appreciate and show appreciation. Mm. Storm warning. Beware. Beware, there's a storm coming, right? There is a storm coming. Something may happen. Oh, that makes you appreciate this woman. Beware, beware. The storm is here. I've covered her up. And it's right here next. You never know where I'm going to put the cards. Sometimes it takes some sort of devastation 
for you to appreciate what you have. So beware. Speak your truth. This is the throat chakra. Communicate. Speak up. Before it's too late. This message is for a man that needs to speak up. The woman that knows her worth is not going to chase. The man chases the woman. Any woman that knows her worth does not chase. We have a man that is thinking about making an offer. He is trying to come up with a strategy as to how he is going to get what he wants and, and to help this situation to grow another three. He's thinking about it. And he's scared too. He is. He's scared that you may reject him because of the lies and the deceit in the past. This could go so many ways. Maybe there's an, an event that happens that makes him appreciate this woman. And now it's time to speak up. Before it's too late. It could be too late already. But anyway, um, I don't know who this message is for, but I am here to tell you women, you feminines, not to get on the horn, to get on the phone, to get on the text, to get on the Facebook chat, whatever it is, and, start, and send him this link. No, no. You lose when you do that. Stop sending him links. Trying to give him the message. He has to do it on his own. For it to be real. This man will speak up if he loves you. Without you pushing him to do so. Appreciate yourself enough to close that book if he does not communicate. Know your worth. If you can restrain yourself, women, there's a good chance that this door could, could reopen. But men like the chase. Period. Anyway, I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody needs to hear it. Good luck.